Now, the world's largest medical charity, the Wellcome Trust, has announced plans to carry out controversial research to try to learn how to build human DNA from scratch. The technology could one day allow scientists to create synthetic life using chemicals in a lab. Here's our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh. Imagine the power to design human life, to dream up new versions of the genes that control the living processes in our bodies. That is what's about to happen in this lab in Cambridge. Researchers here will not just study human life, they'll be able to reshape it in an effort called the Synthetic Human Genome Project. Well, I think the sky's the limit. We are looking at therapies that would hopefully improve people's lives as they age and lead to healthier um, ageing with less disease and um, disability um, as, as people get older. Every cell in our body contains a molecule called DNA, and that contains four much smaller blocks of molecules called A, C, T and G. These are repeated over and over again in various combinations to create a genetic code that amazingly makes us, us. And the Human Genome Project enables scientists to read it, just like a barcode. But the new Synthetic Genome Project will take this a giant leap further. Not only will they be able to read the DNA, they hope to be able to write parts of it, maybe one day all of it, from scratch, molecule by molecule. There are concerns, though, that some may misuse the technology, for example, to create enhanced humans or create deadly biological weapons. The genie is out of the bottle. We could try to impose a set of restrictions now, but if an organization who has access to the appropriate machinery decided to just simply start synthesizing anything, I don't think anybody could stop them. The world's largest medical charity, the Wellcome Trust, has decided that the potential benefits to human health care outweigh the risks and have decided to fund the research. So this is going to be such a transformative technology, it could impact all diseases. It's too early to say exactly which are the first diseases that it'll be, we'll be able to tackle in new ways, but it's such a general purpose technology that it's feasible it will impact every disease. The Human Genome Project propelled us into a new era of medicine. The hope is that the Synthetic Human Genome Project will accelerate that revolution. But with it come new dangers as we begin to have unprecedented new ways of shaping human life. Palad Ghosh, BBC News, Cambridge.